What is up everyone, my name is Mr. Bob and I'm back with another video for you today. And today's video is Let's Play of The Last of Us. Now, I am going to be doing this in uh, New Game Plus. Mainly because I'm still trying to do a lot of stuff. I want to try and get all the updates done. Not updates, upgrades. So this is on easy as well because it's a new game plus, so it'll be a bit easy. Um don't know whether I'm gonna be doing the cutscenes. I you know, this game's been out a bit now. You guys can watch the cutscenes on YouTube, they're already there, you know. Oh look, it's loading quickly today. I usually get it where it loads at 0%, percent, goes to one percent, loads back to naught, then to one, then naught, so fuck you. But yeah, so this game's been out for quite a bit now. Well, what's it been out for a week? We're calling this twenty seconds, so yeah, it's been a, just a week, just over a week. So I find that this is probably my favourite game of the year. Definitely at the moment, since June last year, this is my favourite game. I think he, it could even be favourite game of the decade, really. So let's go. You start off as. Sarah, Sarah, which is Joel's Honey, daughter. Dun dun dun! Phone cut off. I think this is actually one of the best prologues of the game as well, in my opinion. What was that? One of the best prologues to any game I've ever played. Which is weird. I could touch the phone. I'm sure the audio is supposed to be delayed in my head, but it's not. Daddy? The audio's coming from my computer. Daddy? S doesn't sound like it's different. Right, let's go in this door. It's a little dark. Like, not light-wise. But more. Hmm. Should look at the window. It's kind of like a dark sense of the game at the beginning of it. But then, to be honest, that's probably basically what the game is, though, isn't it? Really. And there's Joel. Are you okay? Yeah. Did anyone come in here? No, who would come in here? Don't go near the door. Just stand back there. Don't Dad, you're the kind of freaking me out. Fuck that shit. Go near the doors, because I'm a badass. Somebody's live with him. I'm kind of sick. <laughs> Jimmy! Dad? Come here. Come that kind of sick. Still quite loud in my head, so fuck. There you go, should be there. Any idea what's going on out there? I got some notion. Oh, it's Tommy. That's Joel's brother, by the way. This ain't half the people in Satan lost their minds. Just please go. Some sort of parasite or something. Just please go. You can just tell me what happened later. Hey, sir. How are you holding up, honey? I'm fine. Can you hear us on the radio? Yeah, sure thing. Cell phone, no radio. Yeah, we're doing great. Maybe the news 
Can we hear what's on the radio? Um, oh. Can we hear what's on the radio? There's nothing playing. Okay, that works. It's really good that you can actually turn around the whole car. You can look around the whole car. So basically the story of this, if you haven't caught on yet, is... It's a fungus, I think. It's actually a real-life fungus that's actually in the world now, it's in reality. That it infects, well in reality it, ref it infects insects, they climb to a height, to a height and they kill them, so it kills them. And then it releases spores which then spread to other things, but I'm guessing we can't catch it, I'm not really sure. But in this basically, it breaks out into humans and it infects them and kills them, basically kills half of them. Something like that, it kills most of them. And it basically is quarantine zones where people live and then the hunters you know like live outside of these but like what happens here well I'm not gonna spoil this part but what happens it's 20 years later after the after the prologue and basically Joel has to take a girl who's base who's apparently immune to the virus has to take her so that she can produce a cure or the people can get a cure from here to stop all this and you know, it's quite it's a good storyline to be honest it's a really good storyline in my opinion oh he's dead it looks like it's broken out in the hospital uh, back a fucking shit up Put him down. You can't stop your I can't fucking drive through. Get Joel. back up there. They're behind me too. They're there. They're there. Hold on. Go. They're behind me too. They're there. Hold on. Go. I have no conscience. So that's the last bit of playing with as Sarah. You now start playing as Joel. I'll skip that. I will be pausing every now and then because I don't know if I can skip past. <laughs> you know, play this game twice, three already, and I still can't remember whether what parts are actually cutscenes and what aren't. What are actual proper cutscenes that you can skip? When I first got this game, I got it on the day it came out, but when I first played it, I thought the graphics of this game were amazing, the detail that goat went into it. Being a brick as you can. You know, they did really well doing this, and by the way it ends, you'd think they could make a second one, and I think they might have set that up so that they can if they did well enough on it, but I think they, I think they should. They did well enough, apparently they got... How many did they get? When the with the ratings, you know, you get like five stars or whatever, you get the ten out of ten. And I can't remember how many it was, but there was about I think it was five, heap five companies or five people who do ratings said or gave them full scores. And I think it has a ninety nine, is it ninety five or ninety nine percent out of a hundred or not. Which I would give this 10 out of 10, 100% effort. Because it's that good. We're gonna get out of this. Mm, they're dead. So clearly, because like this, if you think of it, this could like, you know, in a way happen. Because it's taken. It's not like something that humans have made or anything. It's something that's come from the real world, and you know, it's not that. Dude, it's not like that far out, really. There's a lot of this that could really happen, in a way. So, it's quite close to home. 
You have to think to yourself, what if this actually happened, what would you do? Would you be able to do what they do? If you play the whole game through, would you be able to do what Joel does? Would you be able to survive? Would you stay in the quarantine zone or would you survive in the infected zone? Daddy, yeah. He's gonna be fine. Daddy, we can't leave Alright, how an ambulance got down here, I would never know. It must have come through that wall somehow. There's one behind me, I'm not gonna turn around because last time I did it, it killed me. <laughs> Actually, no, last time I did that one, killed me. Alright, I'm not gonna skip this next cutscene. Praise to the military. We need help. Stop! It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. Stop right there! Stop! It's my daughter. I think her leg is broken. I'm not sick. Got a couple of things coming out of Brandon. Bye. Eddie, what about Uncle Tony? We need to get the new back, Brandon. Okay? Sure. There's a little girl. Yes, sir. Somebody who just been through hell. See, if I were him, I wouldn't listen to that. He's been told, oh, sure, even though it's a little girl, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't shoot them. A bit nasty. Oh, no. Fucking Magnum! Move your hand, please. I know, baby, I know. Listen, I know this one. You're gonna be okay, baby, stay with me. I'll pick you up. I know, baby. I know it hurts. Come on, baby. Please. I know, baby. I know. Please. I know, baby. Sarah. Baby, Sarah. Don't think this. You, baby. Don't think this to me. Come on. sick start to the game to be honest or grim but then to be honest in a story like this it's not exactly going to be fucking unicorns and rainbows is it and there you go the last of us the number of confirmed deaths has passed 200 see I like the music in this as well The music of this game is actually really good in my opinion. Oh, you got the big guitar in it and all that. It's nice. A group calling themselves the Fireflies have claimed responsibility for both attacks. No, I'm gonna skip that. But yeah, I like that. So this is now set 20 years on from the prologue. Um, I don't know what, I think this is Boston, I believe. And now you play as Joel for the game. As you can see, he has actually aged, it's pretty good. That's his friend, Tess. So, you know, it looks like a typical kind of day, or really. well, typical thing in a thing like this, you know. It's just rubbish everywhere, and it's just doesn't really look that good. You got the ration distribution center in front of you, you know, like it would when it comes to something like this. See, the thing: would you want to stay in a place like this and have rations given to you and all this, and be under the power of the military the whole time and all that? Or would you want to? live in the infected zone you know have to put up with infected but at the end of the day you're free and you can do what you want really difficult choice I'd say people, I think people say oh yeah you could be safe in here but then at the, at the end of it would you actually be safe military breathing down your throat I got a your neck whatever the fuck you want to say I don't know 
It's weird. It's different. I don't know when this is set though. I think it's. I'm gonna say 2036. I'd say this is now set in. I'm sure I read somewhere it's 2036. Hold all this health kit crap, go away, I know how to use him. I hope I've got all my stuff that I saved. These doors been sealed shut. I don't think they've been sealed shut because infected were in there, or the fact that the families were infected. I don't know. How's it going? Stirring up out there. How are we looking over here? Think wise. No signs of military. That's what I like to hear. Let's go. Please. The dartboard seems a bit high on the wall, to be honest, but I'm not going to criticize that. Oh, God, this place freaks. We need to watch them throw away down here. This place freaks. They'll be light. He's still got the generators and all that going, you know? Way to get power. So here you go, you get your backpack, you get